everyone. My name is Sarah and I'm a graduate assistant in the Franklin Pierce admissions office. Today we're going to be doing a virtual student panel. Um, we have three of our students here who are going to help answer some of the most frequently asked questions and give you a good student perspective. So we're going to start off by having the students introduce themselves. Let's start with Abby. Everyone, my name is Abby. I'm currently a sophomore here at Franklin Pierce. I'm a history major concentrating in public history. I have a minor in music and I have a certificate in global citizenship. Um, along with being a tour guide here on campus, I'm also a tutor at our Wensburg Writing Center. I'm involved in a ton of different clubs here on campus, as well as I'm from Marlboro, Massachusetts. Awesome, Brendan. Hey everyone, my name is Brendan, most commonly known as Dorchester. I'm from Dorchester, Massachusetts. I'm a junior. Um, sports media major with communications minor, along with being the best tour guide that we have on campus. I am also the president of our men's rugby team. Awesome. And Ellis? What's up, guys? My name is Ellis, and I'm currently a sophomore in the 3 plus 1 business program here at Franklin Pierce uh, with a business management major as well as a sports and rec management minor. Uh, in addition to working as a tour guide in admissions, I also interned with CNS Whole Foods in Keene and I'm involved in multiple community service programs on campus, such as Launch Point and Passion for a Cause. Uh, I'm from Lakeland, Florida, and a couple reasons why I chose FPU was because of its unique location and its unbelievable atmosphere, uh, as well as being a part of the inaugural Division II football team. Awesome, thank you all so much. Um, Ellis, you said you are involved in a lot as both Brendan and Abby were. How did you kind of start getting involved on campus um, when you first came here? Yeah, so the easiest way to get involved on campus is just kind of dive right in. Um, don't be afraid or embarrassed to get involved in something because it's your first time or you're new, uh, because odds are everyone around you is kind of feeling the exact same way. Uh, I know my freshman year, I got involved in way too many clubs and activities on campus. And by the beginning of my sophomore year, I had already dropped about half of them. Uh, however, if I had not have signed up for all those clubs and activities, uh, I may not have met so many people in such a short period of time. And I certainly wouldn't be in the position that I am today. So the best advice I can kind of give you is to um, know your limit on what you can handle, but also don't be afraid to put yourself out there and take some risks. Awesome. It's really great to find a club that really piques your interest or your academics. That's awesome. Abby, food. I know um, that's one of our biggest questions. What's the food like? Where do you eat? Um, so can you kind of give me your experience with the food here on campus? Yeah, no problem. So we have one main dining hall here on campus. Um, that's where all of our students will go for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. However, we do have our own on-campus pub right below our dining hall. Um, that's where you can get all your pub-style fried foods, um, chicken nuggets, french fries, onion rings, pizza, anything of that sort. We also have our library cafe, um, and they have smoothies, coffees, on-the-go sandwiches, salads, anything of that you'll find in there. Um, for me, I tend to be a little bit of a picky eater, um, as well as I'm trying to go kosher, so that's not the best <laughs> circumstance, as well as my roommate is vegan and gluten-free. Um, so there's always a question of what are you going to eat? Um, however, there's a ton of different options within our dining hall. Um, they have vegan and vegetarian options. They also have a stationary pizza and pasta station, a healthy minds area, more baked non-fried foods, a grill, different type of fried and um, grilled fried foods, grilled cheese, anything of that sort. We have a protein station, different specials for lunch and dinner, a stationary um, sandwich and salad bar, as well as we have an ice cream station. Um, and however, if you do have any dietary restrictions or allergies, we have our own. Um, area for those students who they can go their own safe food so gluten-free soy free anything of that sort you'll find over there however you can always talk to our Sodexo staff of finding a meal plan that's best fit for you if you do have any of those restrictions or allergies awesome i love the food on campus buffalo chicken wednesday is my favorite day of awesome. <laughs> yeah awesome and then brendan um, a lot of people wonder if students go home on the weekends, if they stay on campus, what does your typical weekend kind of look like and what does Franco Pierce have to offer? Yeah, so for me personally, I go home once, oh, like once a month only to get my hair cut because uh, <laughs> I would never cheat on my barber. But for the most part, there's always something to do on campus, whether it's pack running an event. Um, during the winter time, we have Midnight Madness. Um, so if you're into snow, uh, snowboarding, skiing, anything like that, uh, we have those options. Uh, we have bingo, which gets really intense. It's not your grandmother's bingo, that's for sure. Um, you know, we got Apple Watches, AirPods, all those good goodies. Uh, so there's always going to be something to do. You'll never be bored. Awesome. So the, he mentioned PAC, which is the Pierce Activities Council. 
in every weekend. They're coming up with something different to do. Um, Mr. FPU, I think we have two people in the room over here who have competed and participated. Uh, uh, former winner, by the way, not a big deal. So well, that's one of the biggest. Yeah, not a big deal, but that's one of the biggest events we have on campus. Um, it's a men's pageant, I would say, of yeah. sorts. And um, we have the winner here, and it's a really fun event that, I mean, it, the whole Spagnol Hall is packed with students. So there's really always something to do um, on the weekends here for our students. And then, Ellis, um, you mentioned you were on the football team. What's it like to kind of have the student-athlete balance here on campus? Yeah, uh, so being a student athlete at Pierce kind of allows you to be a part of a separate family on campus that you never really knew you had or expected coming in. Um, you get to build lots of relationships that go far beyond just like the field of the classroom, uh, not only with your teammates, but with all other athletes and students. Um, and because everyone on campus kind of knows your name and knows who you are, um, you kind of are held to a higher standard, um, but it helps build your character and puts you in a role model position for other students on campus to look up to you. Um, all the professors on campus are gonna know who you are, uh, but they'll also work extremely well with you when like traveling for games or tournaments. Um, they'll help make accommodations such as like extending assignments or rescheduling exams. Um, and while they might not, may, may not have a jersey, they're definitely gonna be a part of your team and help keep you on the field as much as possible. Um, and then like game days at Pierce, um, they're like nowhere else. Uh, there's no better feeling than all of your hours in the classroom and film sessions and study hall sessions and practice paying off when you finally play your first game or make your first goal, hit your first shot or score your first touchdown. Um, everyone here at Pierce, at Pierce kind of feeds off the Pierce pride of our athletes and having the opportunity to be a part of that is something that no one can ever take away from you. And it's an amazing experience. Awesome. Yeah. Um, being a non-athlete, I always think it would be fun when I was a student attending the game. So it's really nice to hear that perspective from an athlete. Um, another really important question we get, a lot of students want to study abroad. Um, they have all different questions about where they can go and kind of how they do it. Abby, I know you've had experience with that. So why don't you share a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. So Franklin Pierce goes through a nonprofit organization called CIEE. Um, they basically go all over the globe. They have over 40 different countries with 60 different cities. So there's really something for everyone. Um, you can go to Russia, you could go to Argentina, you could go to um, Dublin, Ireland, anywhere you would like. We have the opportunity. Um, what's super cool about Franklin Pierce is that we are a liberal arts school, so you're gonna have to take courses outside of your major. And while if you wanna go do study abroad, you can take an elective that you might have had to fulfill at Franklin Pierce overseas. Um, so for me, I fulfilled a humanities course. I actually just studied abroad in Dublin, Ireland um, for a month. It's called a J term. Um, so you could do a traditional semester abroad, or you can do a J term or a summer course where you're overseas for about a month. Um, so I was there from about December 30th to January 24th. Um, for a month I got to stay abroad. I studied Irish culture, identity, and society within Dublin, Ireland. Um, and all the classes are instructed in English unless told otherwise, so you don't have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. As well as they do in-class visitations to different excursions. So for me, I did an overnight stay in Belfast, Northern Ireland, went to Dublin Castle, Christ Cathedral Church, um, St. Patrick's Cathedral Church. So basically all over the map, as well as you do have some free time to go and explore the country that you're living in or any other countries that you would want to go to. Awesome. That sounds like it was so much fun. The blast, yeah. And then another one of the big questions we get is kind of freshman, freshman housing. A lot of these students are going from living at home to moving and staying in a residence hall with a bunch of other people. So Brendan, why don't you tell us a little bit about your first year experience and kind of how the housing process works? Yeah, so when you come in as a freshman, um, you're required to take a rooming survey. Um, so if you wanted to go in with a random roommate, they have general questions asking, you know, are you a morning person, night person, how cleanly are you, you know, what TV shows do you favorite, um, or you can choose your roommate um, if you know ahead of time. So I knew who my roommate was going to be ahead of time. Um, they still make you take the survey regardless because they try to match up people in your hallway with similar interests. Mm -hmm. um, so right away, right off the bat, your next door neighbor could be another one of your good friends because you guys all have the same interests. Um, but that was my favorite part about the freshman housing um, was that everyone was so close together um, that I don't want to say you were forced, um, but it wasn't easy to try to, you know, hide away. Um, you 
tended to become friends with everyone in your hallway, upstairs, in your whole building right off the bat, um, which sets the foundation for the next three years. Yeah, awesome. And then are you guaranteed housing for all four years? You are definitely guaranteed housing for all four years. Um, and then when you move up in housing, um, the selection gets better. I know next year I'm going to be living in uh, senior housing, the townhouses, Lakeview, uh, which I'm very excited for. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. And then last but not least, um, why don't we have Ella share kind of what's your experience with professors? Um, you mentioned that they really help you with the student athlete side, but just in the classroom, kind of what is your professor experience like? Uh, yeah, so all the professors that I've had so far, um, I've loved them tremendously. A uh, little shout out to Dr. Bennett. Um, he was my advisor when I first came in as a freshman. Um, and being a part of the football team, I had to miss a lot of the uh, freshman orientation stuff. Yeah. Um, so he kind of like brought me up to speed on that. And I actually got put into um, his advice for the FYI, um, which mm -hmm. all freshmen will have to take. Um, I was put into his class, even though I shouldn't have been because it was health sciences, but because I was on the football team and my schedule was a little weird. Um, I was the only business major in there and he worked the entire semester, like helping me, um, do like research, research plans for like a business marketing proposal or something while mm -hmm. everyone else was doing something on anatomy or something like that. So, um, even if it's, something that's a little difficult or unexpected, like your professors will always work really well with you to try to like, you know, make it around the curriculum, but also something that interests you or something that's involved in your major or something that you kind of want to learn more about. So he helped me out a lot with that. And ever since then, I've loved a lot of the professors that I've had and I've always had great experiences with them in the class and outside of the class and meeting with them and all sorts of stuff. Awesome. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, as much as the virtual experience is, I think you guys did a great job answering any questions that students would have. Um, and thank you for all the family students who are joining us, trying to learn a little bit more about Franklin Pierce. We really appreciate it. So I just wanted to say thank you and everybody stay happy and healthy out there. Bye, guys.